Sup, y'all, bring you guys another video. So, to those who don't know, uh, there was a recent world title fight uh, for the IBF featherweight title between uh, Sarah Mayfold and uh, Nina Manke. And I apologize if I'm mispronouncing their names. Um, yeah, the fight recently took place over in uh, Denmark, in Copenhagen. Uh, fight ended up going the distance. It went the whole 10 rounds. And uh, Sarah Mayfoud, uh successfully defended her IBF featherweight title, winning the fight by unanimous decision. Now, before I get more into the video, I just want to say thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe for more boxing and please hit that like button. It helps out the video. It helps out the channel. I'd really appreciate it. So, um, yeah, I noticed that not many people are talking about this, uh, which is unfortunate. And actually, not many articles were written about it as well. Um, I couldn't find the fight here on YouTube. I guess uh, nobody recorded it and posted it. I just saw uh, pictures and uh, reading articles and, you know, and how people reacted on social media. And based on what I've read, um, uh, Man K was the aggressor moving forward. And, uh, you know, Mayfow was uh, able to time her and uh, uh, hit her with some good... Uh, eye-opening catches, punches, uh, and she had the uh, faster hands compared to to uh, Menke, based on what I've read. And so uh, she ended up winning the fight by decision, unanimous decision, two judges having, having it once 97-93, uh, and one judge having it 96-93, all in favor of uh, Mayfoud. Keep in mind that this was in front of her hometown fans. She is from Denmark, uh, birthplace of Faroe Islands. Where is that? Let me Google that real quick. Faroe Islands. Interesting. Oh, what the? Wow, I uh, did not know that. Um, man, <laughs> she, was, she was born there. I wonder how, how, how life is like here. That would be pretty cool to visit one day, you know, if I can afford it. Um, but yeah, uh, Mayfoud um, now improves to 11 and 0 remaining un undefeated three and uh, three wins coming by way of knockout tko at the age of 32 years old um it was her first fight in more than two years wow um interesting but here she is you know she's still the champion successfully defended it uh maybe COVID had something to do with her inactivity who knows but uh she's back and uh, she won this fight against nina menke who uh, suffers her third loss in her pro career menke uh, from Germany, you've probably seen in, seen her in there against Katie Taylor back in 2017. I remember that fight. She ended up losing the fight by TKO. Since then, she was able to uh, rebound from it, but then she lost to Elena Tisen, then fought a few more, fought a f uh, one, two, three, four, five, five times, winning five times in a row before stepping in against Sarah Mayfoud, and uh, you know she ended up falling short in this fight. So. She's 29 years old, so it's not the end of the world. I'm sure she'll be back. Um, you know, she is a top contender after all. Uh, the sport of boxing, when it comes to the female side, doesn't really have that many uh, uh, contenders compared to the male side. So I'm sure we'll see Menke again in there against another world champion. Um, as for what's next for Mayfoud, um, she's one of the champions at 126 pounds. She holds that IBF belt. Uh, Amanda Serrano currently holds two belts at 126. Um, so maybe she can fight Serrano depending on, you know, what Serrano decides to do after the Katie Taylor fight. Which, by the way, I'll be there live in person watching the Serrano versus Katie Taylor. Can't wait to see that fight. And or she can, while waiting for Serrano to, to do her thing with Taylor, she can fight Erica Cruz of Mexico and try to unify it there. Like I've said before in previous videos, uh, in my opinion, um, a champion should always try to unify. And that should be the goal for uh, Sarah Mayfoud, try to unify and become undisputed. So, um... So hopefully she stays more active, uh, you know, two years off um, for her to get a win. Good job. Congrats. And uh, if you saw the fight, let me know your thoughts in the comments. And if you have a link for the fight, uh, mind leaving it in the comment section below. You know, I'd mind, I don't mind checking some footage of it. Let me know your thoughts. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. And like always, have a great day. All right, thanks.